Today we're going to be reading Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. And also, if you haven't already read The Gruffalo, that's a great book too. I might be reading that one on my channel as well. Room on the Broom. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and a long and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat sat when the wind blew so windly, it blew off the hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering poles, there bounced a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog climbed on. The witch tapped her broomstick, the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid just like that. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then from, then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and, and bent her head low. Then said, as the witch tied the braid in her bow, I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, and so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped her broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reed, and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee, and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to, to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried her wand on the fold of her cloak, I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounced on. The witch tapped her broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down went the tremble. Down went the trembling into a bog. The witch, the witch's half broomstick, flew into a cloud, and the witch heard a roar. 
that was scary and loud. I am a dragon, as mean as can be. A witch and french fries taste delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, Just this once, I'll have witch without fries. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky and feathery and furry and furred. It had four frightful heads and the wing and it it had wings like a bird. And its trembling voice when it started to speak was a vow and a growl, and a croak, and a shriek, a shriek. It dripped, and it squished, like, as it stroked through the ditch, from the ditch. As it said to the dragon, buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back, and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wing and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird. And down jumped the frog, and down climbed the cat, and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone, to throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. Then they threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. While she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Ziggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all climbed on with the witch tapped her broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Well, that was Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson and Alex Shuffle. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more of my videos every day. Bye, guys!